This is a second stimulus check update. There are new $1,200 stimulus checks going out to certain Americans. I'll let you know exactly who is eligible for those checks now. Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin spoke on the phone yesterday, the first time in many weeks. I'll give you the details on what was said. Joe Biden has a plan for a big economic stimulus package as well as executive orders. Also, a new $900 billion stimulus package was just revealed yesterday. I'll give you the details of what's in it and how you could benefit from it. I hope you're having a great day so far. So if we ever needed a stimulus check, now is definitely the time for it. Unfortunately, there are 26 million Americans who don't have enough food to eat. This is really sad. So 26, adult, 26 million adults don't have enough food. And then among households with children, the number was as high as one in six adults. That is really sad. And if you are one of these people out there, my heart goes out to you. You're in my prayers as well as everyone else else struggling. I really hope things get better. So Joe Biden is saying that he wants to have a major stimulus push as well as a bunch of different executive actions for his first 100 days. So when the president takes office, the new president, usually first 100 days are the most important. But a new big economic stimulus package, to be honest, is not up to the president. It's up to Congress. Uh, he then also said that he wants to have a stimulus bill passed during the lame duck session and saying that at at best, it's just a start. So we're in the lame duck session now, but really the deadline is December 11th. I'll get more into details. I'll give you the details on that later on in the video, but he's saying that uh, if we do get a stimulus pass now, it's just a start and he wants to have something bigger later on. So Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin just spoke on the phone yesterday, the first time in many weeks, but it wasn't about stimulus. So he, uh, Steve Mnuchin is saying that Trump wants to make sure that there is not a government shutdown. So it seems like the big priority now is the December 11th deadline for a for the American for the American government to come up with funding so we don't have a shutdown. So he said, uh, we were talking about the appropriations issue, keep the government running. That is the first priority. So let me know down in the comments below, should our first priority be government funding so we don't have a government shutdown or should it be on stimulus and stimulus checks? Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. He also said, we want to make sure it is on track. So the president wants to make sure there is not a shutdown. And our first choice is not to do a continued resolution to get appropriations passed. So when Steve Mnuchin, Nancy Pelosi spoke on the phone, he said that it was just about keeping the government running and the shutdown, nothing to do with stimulus. So stimulus negotiations are not happening between Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi at this time. Also, here's a clip between Steve Mnuchin and Jerome Powell, the federal uh, reserve chairman and what they spoke about. Here's that clip. First of all, the, the economy has actually performed better than expected. It's been more resilient to uh, spikes in cases than, than expected. Nonetheless, we do have a long way to go. I continue to believe that a targeted fiscal package is the most appropriate federal response. I strongly encourage Congress to use the $455 billion in unused funds from the CARES Act to pass an additional bill with bipartisan support. What we're hearing is that there are a lot of small businesses that are at risk of going out of business during this winter. I think those small businesses need grants. They don't need loans. My decision is a legal decision, not an economic decision. Congress can reauthorize this money. As the secretary was, was noting, some of these businesses, what they need is, is you know, is fiscal policy, is, is a grant to get them through this last bit of, of, uh, of the pandemic rather than um, you know, rather than borrowing more through a Federal Reserve facility. It seems that everybody is saying that we need more economic relief, a stimulus package. Everybody is in support of it, but it means so many different things to different people. To Steve Mnuchin, mainly it's about PPP, small targeted to Jerome Powell. It's about helping out the American people because it knows it'll help out the economy. Let me know what you think about these two different perspectives between Steve Mnuchin and Jerome Powell down in the comments below. So there is a new $908 billion bipartisan stimulus proposal that was just released yesterday 
yesterday. It's bipartisan. It has two Republicans, two Democrats. The two Democrats are Joe Manchin and Mark Warner. The two Republicans are Mitt Romney and Rob Portman. So the best part about this bill, in my opinion, is going to be the $300 weekly enhanced unemployment benefit for four months. Uh, here is exactly what is in this bill, number by number. Uh, I'll just go over a few of the big ones, but you can pause the screen if you want, if you want to see more of the details. So $160 billion for state and local aid, $180 billion to fund that $300 per week unemployment insurance, $288 billion for PPP, and then it also has student loans, uh, U.S. Post Office, child care, vaccine development and distribution, as well as a few other things. Uh, let me know what do you think about this bill down in the comments below. The saddest part about it, it is, does not have stimulus checks. So it would cost an additional $300 billion to add stimulus checks to it. Let me know your thoughts on this, not having stimulus checks. Are you for it, not for it? Uh, personally, I just wish it really included stimulus checks, especially since there's not a lot of new money added to it. So Mitt Romney said that it only includes $348 billion in new money. $560 billion is actually repurposed from the first CARES Act. So they're using money that just isn't new. We have the money in the bank. Uh, why don't we just give more money to the American people, especially those 26 million Americans who are going hungry? That should not be happening, especially with what's going on. Now, even though this was bipartisan, uh, two Republicans, two Democrats are in support of it, that doesn't really mean anything. The two people who are in control are America's favorite couple, Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell. Those are the only two people who are actually in control and have the final say for a stimulus to happen. So when asked about um, whether Pelosi or McConnell has indicated that they support the new bipartisan framework, Senator Manchin said, we have not had assurances from either leader that they would support the proposal. So if Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi aren't in agreement for this proposal, it's not going to happen. And so far, Mitch McConnell is saying that he is not in support of this bipartisan stimulus plan. Uh, he actually has his own agenda, his own stimulus that he wants to push that does not even include uh, any more federal unemployment benefits. So Mitch McConnell, as he has been uh, promoting for many months, he wants a slim down corona uh, coronavirus relief plan, skinny bill, targeted plan, whatever you want to call it, but it does not have any federal unemployment benefits and it does not have any stimulus checks. It does have PPP, it does have uh, liabil liability shield protection for businesses, but it does not have stimulus checks or uh, unemployment insurance. So this, yes, it may pass in the Senate, unlikely, but it definitely won't pass in the House. Nancy Pelosi won't support it. Uh, Nancy Pelosi also said about the other stimulus plan that she wants a bigger economic stimulus package. So it seems like we're getting all these proposals, but we're still not going anywhere. Everyone wants a stimulus package, but they're not taking the action to do anything. So we still have that December 11th deadline where if nothing is done by December 11th, the house is going on another vacation. So December 11th is the last day for them. Then a week later, the Senate is going on another vacation. Uh, I feel like they're just constantly going on vacations, which is ridiculous. But if nothing is done before they go on vacation, we may not get a stimulus until January. So this just came out. I'll give you the updates on this coming up. Uh, also, Mitch McConnell said this about the stimulus. Here's a clip from Mitch McConnell. Why wouldn't a bipartisan proposal that could potentially also pass in that body be a better way to go? Yeah, we just don't have time to waste time. We have a couple of weeks left here. Obviously, it does require bipartisan support to get out of the Congress, but it requires a presidential signature. And this government is in place for sure for the next month. And I think the place to start is, are we actually making a law or are we just making a point? And I think the way you make a law for sure is you know you've got a presidential signature. So. We'll see how it goes forward. I think the one thing we all agree on, as I said, waiting till next year is not an answer. We need a targeted relief bill, including things that we can agree on. 
So Mitch McConnell still wanting that skinny stimulus bill, which isn't going to go anywhere. It's not going to pass. If only he would just give more money to the American people, then I think things would get better. It's been many months before anything has been done. Uh, so unfortunately, Mitch is not in support of this new bipartisan bill. He says, you know, time is running out, but yet not wanting to make any higher offers for the stimulus negotiations. The latest uh, stimulus check that is going out to a city is in Houston. So there's $1,200 stimulus checks that's going to go out to 23,000 people. Uh, hopefully more cities and states are going to do this. I mentioned it in the last video. Uh, there are more states and cities that are giving out stimulus relief, which I think is good because obviously they see that our federal government is completely failing us. That is all the stimulus news I have for you today. To cheer up your mood a little bit, here is my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys. Hi guys, this is Bella. This is the tip of the day. I want to tell you one I want to tell you something. If if you can't find a way to do something, then then do something that you really want to do that you haven't done. Hi guys. If, if you can't make the first one happen. So that's all I wanted to say. Say bye. Bye. And to keep the positive vibes going, take a break from this negative news and watch this video over here. It's on my Wise Vibes channel. It's a motivational video. If you ever feel like giving up, watch this video right over here. It'll help you. It'll put you in a much better mood. I guarantee it. So click that video now and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Be safe. Thank you for watching.